Hello, welcome to everyone, TNV Academy. Uh, today I will explore the food safety hazards, what are the food safety hazards and uh, what are the effects on the body and how we can control these food safety hazards. So first of all, the food industry is a very complex part of a community. Several factors including biological, physical and chemical objects are combined and come in contact with the processing of food. The principle of food service industry tell us that food safety hazards will never be absent from the food chain. These hazards will always be present in any food business. Food hazards can only be prevented, minimized or eliminated by implementing preventive and control measures. How we can explain the food safety hazards? A food safety hazards can be defined as any factor present in a food that has potential to cause harm to consumer either by causing illness or injury. The presence of food safety hazard in product is considered as food contamination. Hazards may be introduced in the food at any time during harvesting, processing, packaging, labeling, transportation, storage, preparation and serving. All hazards are assessed and categorized into three groups, physical, chemical and biological hazards. So first I will explain about the physical hazards. Any foreign object non-living found in the food or naturally occurring object like uh, bone in finlet that, that possesses hazard is called a physical contamination or hazards. Physical hazards can cause following symptom in the body, cut to the mouth and gums, damage to teeth, injury to throat, esophagus, food pipe, stomach and intestine. Some people may require surgery to remove these items. Choking which can be fatal. Some examples are physical hazard like plastic it is originated from utensils, packaging material, disposable gloves and containers, stones and pebbles incorporated with food during harvesting, glass it can be originated from jar, light bulbs, thermometers and bottles, wood it can originated from the pallet used to store food ingredients and wooden structure, metal like nuts and bolts from the processing equipment machinery utensils, wire, etc. Human origin. This is the most important human origin like hair and fingernail from a lack of food hygiene procedure, not wearing hair nets or gloves during the food preparation. What measures should be taken to prevent physical hazards in food production? Use acrylic or covered bulbs to avoid glass breakage. Cover food products, protect ingredients from pests and rodents. Staff must wear protective gear inside the premises. Clean and sorting of ingredients to be done thoroughly before adding them to the food. Avoid maintenance or other practices during food preparation and also ensure food preparation area need to be cleaned properly after maintenance job completed. Now we will explore chemical hazards. Chemicals are the substances that can be naturally occurring or they can be human made. They are sometimes intentionally added to our food for taste and preservation purpose. Some chemicals can also be unintentionally added, which can contaminate the food we eat. These can include dangerous hazardous substances, toxin and excess chemicals used in food processing. Eating food that is contaminated with chemicals can result in immediate harm to the customer or can cause long term health effect if they are exposed to it over time. Some examples of chemical hazards are like toxin. These are naturally occurring chemical hazards that are produced by animals, plants and microorganisms. For example, mycotoxin produced by fungi, aflatoxin produced by peanuts, tree nuts and corn, marine toxin found in fish and shellfish, natural toxin produced by plants and bacterial toxin produced by bacteria such as E. coli O157. Unintentionally added chemicals that are chemical hazard resulting from accidental contamination. For example, agriculture, chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, fertilizer and fungicides. Veterinary drugs used to control and prevent illness in animals, example antibiotics and growth hormones. Environmental pollutants, polychlorinated biphenyls, chemical from machinery, maintenance and cleaning, lubricants, oil and sanitizer, disinfected and paints. Toxic metal, lead, zinc, arsenic, mercury and cyanide. Now intentionally added chemicals. These are the chemicals that are deliberately added to the food but could be hazard if excess quantities are used. 
For example, preservative nitrites and sulfites added vitamins like vitamin A, natural and artificial coloring, bleaching agents, glazing and polishing agents. Chemical contaminants can be controlled by following procedure. Storing cleaning products away from the food, never storing food in chemical containers or vice versa, using chemical in the line with manufacturer instruction, ensuring all open food is covered, removed before carrying out cleaning tasks, ensure food and chemicals are delivered separately, use reputable suppliers, avoid applying incorrect excessive use of pesticide used to treat fruits and vegetables, thorough washing of fruits and vegetables to remove pesticides residue. So I will explain about the biological hazards. What is the biological hazards? Biological hazards are living organisms or substances produced by these organisms that pose a threat to human health. They are among the most common causes of foodborne illnesses and can result in severe health complication. The danger of consuming food contaminated with biological hazards can range from mild stomach pain to life-threatening conditions like kidney failure or even death. So major biological hazards include bacterial hazard and it's caused by Salmonella, E. coli, Campylobacter, Yersinia, Bacillus cereus, Staphylococcus cereus, Clostridium botulinum, Clostridium perfringens. And then there is a from virus also like Hepatitis A and Norwalk, Rotavirus and from the parasite also like Gidia and Cryptosporidia, etc. Here are some key practices that can help to Mitigate the risk of biological hazards in food, proper hand hygiene, ensuring that all individuals involved in food hand washing their hands properly and frequently wash. Temperature control, keeping food at correct temperature can significantly reduce the growth of harmful bacteria. Cold food should be kept at 5 degrees centigrade or up below and hot food should be kept at 63 degrees centigrade or above. Proper cooking and reheating, thorough cooking and reheating can kill harmful bacteria present in food. Avoid cross-contamination like using separate cutting boards and utensils for different type of food can help prevent cross-contamination between raw and cooked or ready-to-eat foods. Regular cleaning and sanitization, regular cleaning and sanitization of all food contact surface, utensils and equipment used in food preparation can significantly reduce the risk of bacterial contamination. Now finally conclusion, in conclusion, ensuring food safety is crucial in the food industry to prevent foodborne diseases and protect consumers. To control these risks, food business must conduct thorough hazard analysis, implement food safety management system like HACCP, ISO 22000, etc. and adhere to the good manufacturing practices. Hazard identification is a fundamental requirement of HACCP principle 1. Many different food laws across the world wide require the need to identify potential food safety hazards in your food business. Thanks for watching video. Kindly do share this video to your friends.